doing seven deep questions with my bestie here, Tyler. And she's beautiful, as you can see. You guys better watch this video. <laughs> but um, we're doing seven deep questions, and we're going to go back and forth instead of me just asking the question. So, first one is, if your friend made a mistake... Oh, this is about friendship, by the way. Sorry. If your friend made a mistake, and it was about you, and told you, and confessed, would you talk it out and still be friends with him or her? I would say yes, but then again, it also depends, like, what that it mistake is. Was yeah mm -hmm. like if it's like you slept with my man or something no we can talk it out but i'm not forgiving you yeah <laughs> like so um for me i feel like i would take anyone back that's the bad thing about me but like it really does come down to what you did because mm -hmm. let's say you murdered my family member like right what <laughs> like you wouldn't be my friend anymore and i know i talk about murder a lot but it's because i watch true crime <laughs> so second question is if your friend slept with your lover is it hands on sight or unfriended or talk it out i would say it depends as well like if i caught you in the, um in the act yeah it's on sight Mm -hmm. but if i found out like a month after it happened like let's say i like read your messages or something mm -hmm. i'm just gonna cut you off to me it's immediate no like i'm just like why would you do that and if you're my friend in the first place why didn't you like at least come to me and say something like i like your husband like obviously right. it would be kind of weird but like i feel like if you just slept with my husband like that's immediate betrayal and not only is it bad for you but it's bad for that one over there too <laughs> but the third question is would you ever get with a friend mm. yes if the vibes are right okay uh, well, I can say the past me would but now no because I'm married are you speaking like okay so you're talking about like now yeah I'm talking okay. about like now versus past versus future okay now no okay so what is the <clears throat> friend zone to you like, mm -hmm. what would you consider, like, the guys that are in your friend zone right now, I guess? Like, how, why are they in the friend zone? And how are they in the friend zone? I guess if you don't look at them, like, in a sexual way or, and, like, if you don't, if you're not attracted to them, mm -hmm. or you just don't see them that way. Mm -hmm. I would say that's just the friend zone. I kind of just don't have those feelings towards someone. So, I would say the same thing, honestly. The same thing. I'm not going to even repeat it. It's the same <laughs> thing for me. <laughs> but, um... Would you ever marry a friend? Mm. So, like, they're not in the friend zone, but they are a friend. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if I wasn't married and I was into them more than a friend, yeah. Okay. And then sixth question is, how does someone get out of the friend zone? Like, for anyone in general, <laughs> no matter who it is. I feel like I'm big on laughter. So, mm -hmm. if you can make me laugh you're just a 10 <laughs> like, is that it only laughter mm -hmm. it has to be i bet I don't you know, i feel like a funny guy someone who can take you like somebody that too. can make you laugh is mm -hmm. just attractive like yeah. if you're a five but you make me laugh all the time you're a 10 okay <laughs> okay so for me you're never coming out of the friend zone sorry but that's not a thing <laughs> And last question, what's your advice on marriage since you've been married? Like mm, communication is key. Wait, here's this. We like no no no, not while you're married, before you decide to marry the person. Oh, like what would be things that you should look for? Mm hmm Or like how to know you're ready to marry that person, I guess. Mm. I mean that's a you thing though, no. I feel like you know when you're ready to be married if I mean, you just kind of feel it <laughs> within yourself. Like, if you, like, if I was to think about my life without someone, like, are you crying? Are you sad? Like, what mm -hmm. do you feel? Um, so, if, I guess if you can't live without that person or. I yeah. would do, okay, now, then I would plot twist it and be like, what would you give advice for married couples? To me. To me. Okay. Um, communication is key. Mm-hmm um life isn't perfect nobody's perfect um you just have to have that understanding things will happen <laughs> you just gotta keep pushing forward 
for me, I would say, like, for the first part, I would say you're gonna know. And exactly with what Tyler said, like, if you think about that person and you're like, I can't live without them almost. But, like, not live without them where you depend on them. Like, mm -hmm. live without them where, like, being away from them with, like, kind of, yeah, like, yeah. separation anxiety or something like that you know mm -hmm. and so for me that's how I knew I wanted to marry my husband like I was sleeping and I would get um what is that sleep paralysis mm -hmm. and I would think he's there and so like some demon was trying to trick me being like I'm your husband but you know <laughs> you know I was like that <laughs> and um <laughs> for the second part I would say communication is definitely key trust is a big thing because like the video that you guys saw yesterday with Micaiah with the location thing like trust is a big thing and i know i can trust my husband like the back of my hand and so for me it's pushing through no matter what that's the biggest thing for married couples i'd say don't just like have a fight and then be like you know what i'm gonna leave you no work it out see if you can fix it if you're still unhappy then decide from there but like talk it out just push through like why'd you guys get married in the first place because it's a marriage certificate you can't just rip it up and say you're gone from each other no you have to get divorced so that's that <laughs> seven questions <laughs> guys um today we're gonna do seven questions seven deep questions with my bestie here tyler <laughs> <laughs> 